pH is equal to the negative log of H3O plus. We can remember this because the H and pH goes together with H and H3O plus. pOH is equal to the negative log of OH minus. The OH and pOH goes together with OH minus. And pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Next, we need to know that the concentration of H3O plus is equal to 10 to the power of negative pH. Again, the H's go together. And the concentration of OH minus is equal to 10 to the power of negative pOH. The OH's go together. Instead of memorizing the formulas for OH minus and H3O plus, I think it's easier to understand how logs work. So let's look at pH is equal to the negative log of H3O plus. What we really have is pH is equal to the negative log base 10 of H3O plus. Whenever you take the log of something and it doesn't give you the base, the base is assumed to be 10. So first, let's move the negative to the other side. So we have negative pH, and that would cancel out the negative on this side. To go from this to this, what happens is that the base takes the power of what the log is equal to, and that is equal to what we're taking the log of. If that's confusing, you can remember it as a full circle. So we have 10 to the power of negative pH, and that is equal to H3O plus, and it's going in a circle. 10 to the power of negative pH, and then that is equal to H3O plus. And you would do the same thing for pOH. The last formula we need to know is Kw is equal to the concentration of H3O plus multiplied by OH minus, and Kw is the water ionization constant. This is given in the data booklet. So if we have H3O plus, or OH minus, we can solve for the other one. Finally, we need to know the pH scale. So a pH scale typically ranges from 0 to 14. A pH that is less than 7 is considered acidic. A pH that is greater than 7 is considered basic. And a pH that is equal to 7 is neutral. Let's do this next problem. Determine the pH given the following concentrations and state if the solution is acidic or basic. So we have H3O plus is equal to 6.0 times 10 to the negative 12 moles per liter. We know that pH is equal to the negative log of H3O plus. So when we take the negative log of 6.0 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 12, we get a pH value of 11.22. And the sig digs for pH and pOH is a little bit different. So H3O plus has two sig digs, 6.0. But for pH and pOH, the sig digs only apply to the decimal number or decimal places. So we have two sig digs, so we have two decimal numbers. A pH that is greater than 7 is basic, so the solution is basic. Let's do the next one. The concentration of OH minus is equal to 3.8 multiplied by 10 to the negative 5 moles per liter. We can't get pH, but we can get pOH. pOH is equal to the negative log of OH minus. When we do the negative log of 3.8 multiplied by 10 to the negative 5, we get 4.42. And again, let's look at sig digs. So OH minus has two sig digs, 3.8. For pOH and pH, the sig digs only apply to the decimal numbers. So we have two sig digs, so we have two decimal numbers or two decimal places. We can get pH because we know pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So let's isolate pH because we have pOH. So we subtract this side by pOH. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do the other side. So 14 minus pOH, positive pOH and negative pOH cancel out. And what we're left with is pH is equal to 14 minus pOH. And when we do 14 minus pOH, we get a pH value of 9.58. Make sure you're using exact answers, not the rounded answers. And a pH that is greater than 7 is basic. 9 is greater than 7, so the solution is basic. Okay, let's do these last two questions. You can pause the video and try it yourself because it's the same process as the last two questions we did. So the concentration of H3O plus is equal to 1.4 times 10 to negative 4 moles per liter. We know that pH is equal to the negative log of H3O plus. So we can take the negative log of 1.4 multiplied by 10 to the negative 4. We get a pH value of 3.85. H3O plus is two sig digs, 1.4. The sig digs for pH and pOH only apply to the decimal numbers, so we have two decimal numbers. The pH is less than 7, so this solution is acidic. Let's do the next one. The concentration of OH- is equal to 4.6 multiplied by 10 to the negative 9. We can't get pH, but we can get pOH. pOH is equal to the negative log of OH-. We take the negative log of 4.6 multiplied by 10 to the negative 9. We get that pOH is equal to 8.34. OH- minus has two sig digs, 4.6. The sig digs for pOH and pH only apply to the decimal number or decimal places. So since we have two sig digs, we have two decimal numbers. Now we use the formula pH plus pOH is equal to 14. We have pOH and we're trying to get pH, so we need to isolate pH. So we subtract this side by pOH. 
Whatever you do to one side, we have to do others. So we have 14 minus POH. Positive POH and negative POH cancel out. So pH is equal to 14 minus POH. So we do 14 minus POH. We get that pH is equal to 5.66. Then we have two decimal numbers since we have two sig digs. And 5.66 is less than 7. Whenever the pH is less than 7, the solution is acidic. Let's do this next problem. Determine the H3O plus concentration and OH minus concentration with the given pH values and state if the solution is acidic or basic. So we have a pH that is equal to 3.67. We can get H3O plus concentration because we know H3O plus is equal to 10 to the power of negative pH. 10 to the negative 3.67 gets us a value of 2.1 multiplied by 10 to the negative 4 moles per liter. And remember, for pH or pOH, the sig digs only apply to the decimal numbers. So we don't have three sig digs. We have two sig digs because we have two decimal numbers. And that means we have two sig digs for H3O+. H3O+, and OH- have normal sig dig rules. We can get the concentration of OH- by getting pOH. So we know that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Let's isolate for pOH. So we subtract this side by pH. Whatever you do to one side, we have to do the other. So we have 14 minus pH, pH and negative pH cancel out. And what we're left with is pOH is equal to 14 minus pH. When we do 14 minus pH, which is 14 minus 3.67, we get the pOH value of 10.33. And now that we have the pOH value, we can get the concentration of OH minus. So OH minus is equal to 10 to the power of negative pOH. So when we do 10 to the power of negative 10.33, we get the OH minus concentration. And that is 4.7 times 10 to negative 11 moles per liter. It will be in two sig digs since we have two decimal numbers for our pH value. We know the solution is acidic because our pH value is less than seven. Or another way to know the solution is acidic is to look at the concentration of H3O plus and OH minus. H3O plus is equal to 2.1 times 10 to negative four. And OH minus is equal to 4.7 times 10 to negative 11 moles per liter. 2.1 times 10 to negative four is bigger than this. So that means we have more H3O plus and that means the solution will be acidic. If you want to check your answer, you can do H3O plus multiplied by OH minus, and you should get the water ionization constant of 1.0 times 10 to negative 14. Let's do the next problem. pH is equal to 9.25. We can get the H3O plus concentration since we know it's equal to 10 to the power of negative pH. We do 10 to negative 9.25. We get an H3O plus value of 5.6 multiplied by 10 to negative 10 moles per liter. Our pH value has two sig digs, since it has two decimal numbers, and that means our answer will have two sig digs since H3O plus and OH minus follow normal sig dig rules. Instead of getting the pOH value and then getting the OH minus concentration, we can get the OH minus concentration right away by using this formula. Kw is equal to H3O plus multiplied by OH minus. So now let's isolate OH minus. We divide this side by H3O plus. Whatever you do to one side, we have to do the other. So we have Kw divided by H3O plus. We know the concentration of H3O plus, and we know Kw because it's a constant in our data booklet, so we can get OH minus. H3O plus divided by H3O plus cancel out. And what we're left with is Kw divided by H3O plus is equal to OH minus. So Kw is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. And we divide that by 5.6 multiplied by 10 to the negative 10, and we get OH minus. OH minus is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 moles per liter, two sig digs our pH value has two decimal numbers. We know the solution is basic since our pH value is greater than 7. Or another way to know that it's basic is to look at the concentration of OH- and H3O+. Our OH- concentration is 1.8 times 10 to negative 5, and that is greater than our H3O+, concentration of 5.6 times 10 to negative 10. Since our concentration of OH- is bigger, that means the solution is basic. Let's do these last two questions. You can pause this video if you want and try this yourself. It has the same process as what we just did. So we have a pH of 14.74. We can get the H3O plus concentration because you know H3O plus is equal to 10 to the negative pH. 10 to the negative 14.74 will get us a value of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 15. Our pH has two sig digs since it has two decimal numbers and our H3O plus will therefore have two sig digs. To get the concentration of OH minus, we can get the pOH value. So we know pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Let's isolate pOH. So we're going to subtract pH on this side. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do others. So we have 14 minus pH as well. Positive pH and negative pH cancel out. 
and we're left with pOH is equal to 14 minus pH. When we do 14 minus pH, which is 14.74, we get pOH is equal to negative 0.74. And now that we have pOH, we can get the OH minus concentration. OH minus is equal to 10 to the negative pOH. Make sure when you plug this in your calculator, you have the double negative. So you have 10 to the negative negative 0 0.74. And when we do that, we get OH minus is equal to 5.5 moles per liter. Two sig digs, since we have two decimal numbers for our pH value. And we know the solution is basic since our pH value is greater than 7. Or another way to look at it is our OH minus concentration is 5.5 moles per liter. And this is a bigger number than 1.8 times 10 to the negative 15, our H3O plus concentration. Let's do the next question. We have pH is equal to 2.220. Because we have pH, we can get the H3O plus concentration. H3O plus is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So when we do 10 to the negative 2.220, we get the H3O plus concentration. And that will be 6.03 times 10 to the negative 3. pH has three sig digs since it has three decimal numbers. And that means H3O plus will have three sig digs as well. Remember that H3O plus and OH minus follow normal sig dig rules. We can get OH minus concentration by using KW is equal to H3O plus multiplied by OH minus. We can divide this side by H3O plus. Whatever you do to one side, we have to do others. So we have KW divided by H3O plus. H3O plus divided by H3O plus cancel out. And what we're left with is KW divided by H3O plus is equal to OH minus. KW is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. It's in our data booklet. And we divide that by 6.03 times 10 to the negative 3, our H3O plus concentration. And when we do that, we get our OH minus concentration. And that will be equal to 1.66 times 10 to the negative 12 moles per liter, three sig digs, since our pH has three decimal numbers. Our pH value is less than 7, so this is an acidic solution. And another way you could know this is acidic is by comparing the H3O plus concentration with OH minus concentration. 6.03 times 10 to the negative 3 is bigger than 1.66 times 10 to the negative 12. So we have more H3O plus concentration, and that means the solution is acidic. Let's do a couple of written problems. So a small sample of gastric juice has a pH of 1.65. Determine the H3O plus concentration and OH minus concentration for the sample. So we have a pH of 1.65. With pH, we can get H3O plus. We know H3O plus is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So we do 10 to the negative 1.65. We get 2.2 multiplied by 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter. And this is the concentration of H3O plus. pH has two sig digs. Since it has two decimal numbers, remember that for pH and pOH, the sig digs only apply to the decimal numbers. And since we have two sig digs, that means H3O plus will have two sig digs. To get the OH minus concentration, let's get pOH. So we know pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Let's isolate pOH because that's what we're trying to find. So we subtract this side by pH. And what we do to one side, we have to do the other. So we have 14 minus pH as well. Positive pH and negative pH cancel out. And what we're left with is pOH is equal to 14 minus pH. When we do 14 minus pH, so 14 minus 1.65, we get pOH is equal to 12.35. And now that we have the pOH value, we can get OH minus. So OH minus is equal to 10 to the negative pOH. We do 10 to the negative 12.35. And we get the concentration of OH minus, and that is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the negative 13 moles per liter. Two sig digs because pH has two decimal numbers. Let's do this next practice problem. Determine the H3O plus concentration and the pH of a solution that was made by dissolving 20.0 grams of KOH in water to make a 6 liter solution. So we have KOH, that is a strong base, meaning it dissociates 100% into its ions. So we have OH minus and K plus. So whenever we have a strong base, what we really have is OH minus. And if the problem gave us a strong acid, what we'd have is H3O plus. So with OH minus, we can get H3O plus or pOH. However, we don't have concentration. Concentration is equal to moles divided by liters, but what we have is we have liters and grams. So we need to do some stoichiometry to get concentration. In stoichiometry, whenever you have mass, you're going to need to calculate molar mass so you can cancel out the grams. So we have 20.0 grams multiplied by the molar mass of KOH. We get the molar mass by adding the individual elements molar mass. So we have the molar mass of K added to the molar mass of O added to the molar mass of H. And that will get us 56.11 grams per mole. However, we're going to flip it because we need moles at the top because concentration is equal to moles divided by liters. We're going to multiply this by 1 divided by 6.00 liters. We need liters at the bottom, so we're going to have it at the bottom. We see that grams cancel out. 
So the units we're left with is moles divided by liters, and that is exactly what we need. Now we multiply everything at the top, so we have 20 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1, so that's just 20, and that would be divided by 1 multiplied by 56.11 multiplied by 6.00 liters, and that will get us 5.94 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter, and this is the concentration of KOH, and KOH is OH minus, so this is the concentration of OH minus. Now that we have the concentration of OH minus, we can get H3O plus. So let's use the KW formula. KW is equal to H3O plus multiplied by OH minus. We need H3O plus, so it's isolated. So we need to divide this side by OH minus. Whatever you do to one side, we have to do the other. So we have KW divided by OH minus as well. OH minus divided by OH minus cancels out on this side. Now we're left with KW divided by OH minus is equal to H3O plus. KW is 1.0 times 10 to negative 14. It's the water ionization constant in your data booklet. And we divide this by OH minus, which is 5.94 times 10 to negative 2. And we get that H3O plus is equal to 1.68 times 10 to negative 13 moles per liter. However, we also need to get the pH of the solution. pH is equal to the negative log of H3O plus concentration. So we take the negative log of 1.68 times 10 to the negative 13, and we get that the pH is equal to 12.774. Remember that for pH and pOH, the sig digs only apply to decimal numbers. So we have three decimal numbers because H3O plus concentration had three sig digs. Let's do this last practice problem. Is a solution with an H3O plus concentration of 1.00 times 10 to the negative 7 moles per liter neutral? Remember that a neutral solution has a pH of 7, so let's get the pH. pH is equal to the negative log of H3O plus concentration and we have H3O plus right here. It's 1.00 times 10 to the negative 7. So we take the negative log of 1.00 times 10 to the negative 7. And when we do that, we get a pH of 7.000. Three decimal numbers since we have three sig digs. And since the solution has a pH of 7, that means it is neutral. However, there is another way to find out if the solution is neutral. So let's get the OH minus concentration. We know that KW is equal to H3O plus multiplied by OH minus. So let's get OH minus. So we need to isolate OH minus. So we divide this side by H3O plus. And that means we have to divide the other side by H3O plus. H3O plus divided by H3O plus cancel out. So now we're left with KW divided by H3O plus is equal to OH minus. KW is 1.0 times 10 to negative 14. And we divide that by H3O plus, which is 1.00 times 10 to negative 7. And we get the OH minus concentration of 1.00 times 10 to negative 7. So H3O plus and OH minus, their concentrations are equal, which means this solution is neutral.